All right, y'all. Somebody but nobody. The SBN lifestyle. Welcome to my channel. I'm going to be talking about music and what I think about music today and how I think it has changed and what it has become. I'm going to be talking about all that in this. So just bear with me here. If you're a music person, you'll understand a lot of what I mean. I'll begin with the 90s and the early thousands. And I know everybody says this. They say, well, we're not in the 90s no more. And we're not in the thousands no more. You know, we're in a new time and uh, music changes and stuff. But here's the thing. Everybody was different in the 90s and everyone had a different flow everyone's beats were different the way that they arranged a song i mean there was so much good music and there was bad music too don't get me wrong but the music in the 90s even alternative rock classic rock r b it was one of the best times i think for music and i know a lot of other people think that in the early thousands there was pretty much decent stuff and i'd say around just an estimate around 2007 2008 it started falling off big time for me and i know this may sound judgmental to y'all but it's really not judgmental on my part. You may see it like that. And I have nothing against, you know, guys or girls that want to wear some jewelry or they want to, you know, flaunt the things that they have. If that's what you want to do, you can do that. You know, um, I like wearing, you know, I have a little necklace here that I wear, you know, that looks cool. And I like wearing decent clothes from time to time, but when I see these videos of like a group of guys on the thumbnail and they got all this jewelry, you know, they got like four necklaces and a, you know, a fancy watch and there's girls or something or a nice car and stuff. I already know what they're going to be talking about before I even click on the video. And I don't even watch. 99.98% of this stuff no more. I don't even click on it. I don't even give it a chance, sorry to say, because I already know what it's going to be. I already know it's going to be one of these beats. It's going to go. It's going to be one of those fast trap beats. It's going to have the auto-tune guy going, yeah, hello, hello, yeah, and all that. It's it's just going to be the same exact thing and almost the same exact melody. It's like, I mean, when is enough enough? Like, when are people going to be different or try to at least do something different, but yet be unique and authentic? You know, the message in the music today to me is just, it's just not my cup of tea. You know, I don't want to say garbage, even though I did say garbage before. I have another video where I think I say rap is trash or something, but it's just the same repetitive auto tune melodies and the same hi-hats and snares over and over and over again and i have nothing against any race i don't have nothing against uh dominicans latinos puerto ricans but if i hear boom jim 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 boom one more time i'm gonna put i swear to goodness i'm gonna put a bullet in my brain all day 
not not all the time but when i hear music going by my house out front of here it's a highway where i live in york county every time i hear music it's this boom jim boom jim jim boom 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 jim it is the same beat and the same guy going oh it's like the same thing and like i said listen if that's what you like listening to and that's you know your culture and who you are i have nothing against you it's just i just can't listen to the same things over and over and over and over again and you know i even did this i listened to the music of the 90s over and over again and it's yes it's good music it's great music but it's played out i heard it so many times you know nirvana tupac biggie smalls um next too close oh my goodness i could go on and on mace and puff daddy you know it's there's so many songs that i know of that i listened to from the 90s but i listened to them hundreds and hundreds of times genuine pony uh missy elliott she's a bitch timbaland it just it goes on and on nas there's so many groups from that time that were just they were unique it was they were them they were being them and they were doing what they did and today it's just so much of the same stuff you know if you're a musician listening to this or you're an artist listening to this think of doing something different and not trying to fit in with the crowd please please and you may think that the little bit of music that i did on here that's just me getting warmed up you know that's me getting over my perfectionism and my procrastination i have a ton of music right now i have a ton of beats i have a ton of songs i haven't put out a final product yet and you may think that the SBN music videos that I have on my channel now, you may think that they sound like everything else, but I don't think it does. And I never try to sound like anybody else. Never. I always try to sound different, yet sound like me, myself. I don't ever put on, you know, a facade or try to be something in the music, you know? And I think that's what it's become. It just has become this fitting in, being like everyone else. I have to sound this particular way. I can't go outside of the realm of that. And that's just how I see it. And it just, 99% of it sounds the same. EDM, you know, R&B stuff. I mean, I really don't listen to this kind of stuff no more because I haven't listened to any new music hardly at all. Every time I listen to it, it's the same stuff. And I hate to say that of my fellow musicians because I want to hear things that I can relate to as a human. And with a lot of this, I just can't relate to it. And I know there's a whole crowd millions and millions of people that don't relate to this neither and they just don't want to hear the stuff so i know i'm not alone it's just i'm going for to reach the crowd that liked the music of the 90s and the early thousands that's the crowd that i'm going for you know this new age crowd i i think some of them would like the stuff i do but I know that that's just not me. That's not my cup of tea. That's not what I do. I don't do music like that. You know, I actually put my own life and who I am into the music. You know, I don't put on this thing, you know, this show for people. 
once in a blue moon, I may do that, but it's still me bringing a real message about life and things that go on in life. And I know this sounds judgmental, but it's just the truth, you know? So anybody who says, oh yeah, you know, you grew up in the 90s and the early thousands, so that's why you like that music. You were a teenager and that's when, you know, you were young and everything was going well. I was born in the mid 80s. I was born in 85, but if the music of the 90s and the early thousands would have came out today, it would still be better because it was different. People sounded different. They had different flows, different techniques, different messages, different beats, different styles. The videos were always different. You know, it was always a different video all the time. And if you're somebody that was born in the 2000s or the 2010s, go back and watch music from the 90s. A lot of music from the 90s and early thousands. And I think you will see that the music was better. You know, that's, I think that's for me and a lot of other people, a lot of other people. And I wanna bring back, you know, not that we're in the 90s or the early thousands, but I wanna bring back, you know, quote the spirit of, you know, the feel of the 90s and the early thousands, but in my own way, because I was making music in the late 90s. I bought my first drum machine in the late 90s. And, you know, I got caught up in drugs and other stupid things in life. So I never did what I wanted to do. But now is it's time to do it, you know, 2020. So anyway, that's just a little bit about what I think about the music. I mean, I could go on and on and on talking about music. I could talk about music for days because there's so much to this. There's way more than what we think there is that what we hear every day and what people are doing right now. And I have a lot more stuff coming. You know, um, it's kind of like a phase. I'm in this phase where you got to start somewhere. You know, you got to start somewhere. And I like making music on these standalone drum machines. You know, I want to be the first guy I know there was others before me that made decent stuff on NPCs and stuff, but I want to be the first guy to come out and go big with a Roland JDXI, an Electribe 2, and just those with using a Boss RC505 loop station. I want to be the first guy to make history with making a song and music with just those. No computer, no nothing, just those. And I'm going to do it. That's my mindset. I'm going to do it. You know, it's not bragging or boasting. That's how I think today is I'm going to do it. You know, it might take a little while, but I'm going to do it. And I look for that inspiration today and I don't find it too much anywhere. You know, everybody's making music on a software or a doll and everybody sounds the same. You know, I want to be inspired and I want to inspire other people all the time, every day. It's something great when that's what your mind is focused on all the time. So may I inspire you and may you be inspired to be inspiring. You know, that's what I'm looking for. And if you're looking for that, you found it here at the SBN Lifestyle. Somebody but nobody, I'm out, y'all. Later.